uh, Kelly at the coffee shop at six, hopefully. Um, he hasn't confirmed it yet, but he's still, he's called her four times today. He really wants to meet her. He called her last night. Um, he's jonesing for her. She's so hot. Yeah, well, his, his other flings flinged out. So now he, he needs something for this weekend. And he thinks that this hot, young, attractive woman is his. I wish you had a picture of Misty so we show everybody what Misty looks like and then... Uh, we do, it's on your Facebook. Yeah, I had to, I had to go through a lot of shit to get there and see if I got her I'll elsewhere. Pull it up on his. Real fast. Um, you're gonna go inside and talk to management or just not say a word? I wouldn't say a word. There's our uh, picture of Misty. This is the girl that we have that's supposedly talking to her. Her, obviously, she's a uh, fairly attractive, fairly not dressed. Um, hit him up on Facebook, and he uh, he took it hook, line, and sinker. Um, the last text was to meet her there at six at the at the badass coffee place. So we're gonna go there ahead of time and try to set it up. Crasher will either be outside waiting, or he's gonna be in the back. Um, of the restaurant waiting and I'll be on plain clothes sitting there having coffee and I'll wait till I spot There's him. A... So we're gonna wait until he shows up and then... Yeah. Yeah. So the only thing I'm gonna have on me is a pair of cuffs. Do you have a holster? Taser? What's that? Do you carry your pistol or your taser? No. Nah. Well, your taser doesn't work, huh? Taser works, but I'm just gonna... Just gonna cuff him. I'll just jump on him. Just get in the door as quick as you can. Tackle his ass. Make sure he doesn't have time to go for a weapon. I know crop. That's all I got to say, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can move faster than bullets. <laughs> He's got a gun on him? I know crop. <laughs> He's got a knife. Yeah, I know we'll Krav. Keep, we'll he wants to fight. I know Krav. We'll he kicks his... my ass. You're gonna shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll That's the deal, his... man. The thing is, is if he doesn't see you, doesn't think you're involved, and all he sees is me, you've got the element of surprise. Yeah. I mean, you can just. He's gonna be focused on you, and I'll come up behind him. And the second he starts to lift up or whatever, I'm yeah, on. As him. soon as he starts looking like he's amped. And... Yeah. So, like that. I'll just try to be. Far enough that back. In your pocket, so it's not hanging around your neck. You might notice that. They yeah. look for those things. I'll put it in my other pocket. I got my cuffs. That's all I need. Yeah. Really? I need these. This. All we need is just like zip ties. Not really. A lot of places to go. Badass coffee. That's where we got it set up. Yeah, there's nowhere for me to hide. There's a dude outside, bald. He's got a green shirt on. In the back, yeah, in the back there, yeah, I saw him. I don't think it's him, though. Can't see his face. Oh, he's turning. Nope, he's not. Nip. Uh. Like nowhere to hide a vehicle here. That could be him if he shaved. He wouldn't shave. That guy's younger. He's too young. Um, why don't you go through the drive-thru and see if you can get the manager to talk to you through the drive-thru so you don't have to go in there. Might be coming in here in the next uh, hour or two. 
we were wondering if uh, we might be able to set something up so we can take him down. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have somebody dressed down in your lobby area and then uh, maybe possibly somebody in the back. So as soon as he comes in, we can just jump on him. You okay with that? No. Yeah, yeah, that's what we want to. So, yeah, we'll, we'll make him disappear. Um, do you guys have a back door? The one that's open? Okay. Okay. Uh, why, don't, why don't you go no, down? Please. Go down and park your vehicle, then I'll pick you up and drop you off, and then I'll go park my vehicle down there. Who's that dude? He's made comments on Facebook that he's not going back to jail, and, and uh, we just wanted to make sure that uh, we didn't have any law enforcement presence uh, to spook him away, but uh, when he shows up, we have him at least in the area that if there's a problem, they can they can uh, assist. Assist. That was the weirdest um, ring tone I've ever Okay, so we have it set up where the coffee shop is willing to help us out. Uh, Crasher's going to be in the back kitchen. And I'm going to go park down there where Crasher's vehicle is, walk up here, and um, sit inside, and we'll just be waiting for our guy to show up. And then um, hopefully we'll get some good video. I'll have this camera situated somewhere where the second that I see him, I can pop it on and sit back and then let it tape while we're working. You ready? Yep. All right. Pictures. Ready to go. Alright. Clear. Clear. There's crash. Inside. Done. Identification in the back pocket. Uh, got my cuffs in my other pocket. I normally wouldn't uh, be this unprotected. But this guy being such a spaz about. Um, cops. Um, I'm really just gonna have to uh, take him down. A mano, a mano. So, anyway. <coughs> uh, Crasher just texted me that he's inside, situated. A, uh, Establishment has uh, surveillance cameras, so he's in the back uh, watching cameras. So he'll have a bird's eye view of everything that goes on inside. So he should know about the same time I do when the guy shows up. So uh, here we go.
we're set up in back of the uh, kitchen at the uh, coffee house. Um, <clears throat> we've got surveillance cameras here so we can see when he shows up. The second that we uh, spot him coming in, then I'll come out and play in clothes and just kind of walk up behind him. And then Crashy will come up behind me and we'll just uh, sandwich him in. Um, so that'll be the plan because the coffee house is kind of empty. I kind of stand out sitting out there. So instead of me sitting out front, I'm going to be sitting out back. Updated my status to uh, worker. Oh man, you guys came at a good time. I was about to start completing my coffee. So I was uh, got an apron on, towel, I'm gonna start wiping down tables. So if he shows up, I'll uh, help him out, clean up his table, and clean his ass right up. So that's the plan. So, uh, Crasher's still in the back. I'm just gonna be out here mopping around. So it should go well. outside right now. I just made it. He's out. It's definitely him. They go all the way around. He's uh, just right beside that white pickup truck. So you see the white pickup truck when you're coming up to the corner of the Mexican restaurant? Just let me know. Yeah, he's looking over here. He's just sitting there. Let me know when you're close. What's that? Up close. Okay. Let me know where I can get on the corner. You ready? Just let me know when you get right to the corner, then I'll come. What's that? Okay, I see you, I see you, I see you. You ready? What's that? Let go of your fingers. Why don't you go to court, ma'am? If there's anything on you we need to be worried about, anything you don't want to take to jail, you let us know now, we'll get rid of Clockwork, it. Clockwork, man. Clockwork. Okay, go ahead and stand up for me. What do you have on you? Anything that's going to poke me, stick me, or cut me? Anything illegal? Nope. Anything in here? Nope, it's a flashlight. Do you want to take your phone with you? Yeah. Smokes with you? Can I have one? Want to go? 
No. I want to smell like that all in the truck. I don't think in the truck, that's right here. Can you check both back pockets? Yeah, I did. And then I'll uh, check his ankles up. That one here, Utah? Bell enforcement. Bell enforcement. Same thing in it? Not in Utah. We're licensed to the state. It's a different, different ballgame. You know, I had a funny, I had a funny feeling. Which oh I yeah. What about did, that? This was going to happen. I should have went with my gut. Did you think the girl was going to meet you here? I had, I had no idea. I was just kind of weird. You know, just her website. Or I mean, her Facebook. It's kind of. Just well, kind of weird. she is real, but uh, she just wasn't going to show up. She's undercover, so. It was good though. She's, yeah. she's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Give her that. All right, right, let's head out this way. Can you fix it tough? Yeah, we'll get it taken care of. So, this is an operation that went pretty smoothly. Uh, started on Facebook, hit him up. Hey. Come over here. Is this for, uh, for my bell, right? Yeah. Okay, you make any sudden moves, you're going straight to the ground. I won't make any moves, I promise. They're hinge cuffs, so they're not going to be anywhere near as comfortable as uh, chain cuffs, so you're just going to have to grin and bear it for a minute until we get down to the jail. There ain't no getting out of this one, is nope. there? <laughs> Sorry, man. No, this is a done deal, buddy. All right, let's go. <laughs> like I say, we did a Facebook sting on this guy, and... He fell for the beautiful woman. It happens all the time. He knew he shouldn't have showed up, but he showed up and showed up anyway. You know, beautiful women, you just can't, you can't refuse them. They own the world. You guys are tricksters. <laughs> well, we wanted this to go down smoothly. We didn't want anybody to get hurt. Well, we didn't want you to get hurt. We didn't want to get hurt. I understand that. Um, there's no getting out of this. No. Because I got some fabulous information. Information uh, for who? You can, huh? you can share it with the prosecutors to get them work to deal with you. What kind of information are you talking about? You take me off camera. Well, if on, it's on certain people, if it isn't anybody that's just running that we're after, it isn't gonna do us any okay, good. Yeah, we're not law enforcement. I don't, I don't law know. That's what I'm saying. If you if you've got good information, talk to talk to prosecutors. Uh huh. Can I uh? Yeah. Any chance of talking to him? There's no way you're not going to jail, bro. Bro. Once the cuffs okay. come on, they don't come off. Hey. Alright, stay right here. Do you want to take uh, both or just one? Come back for the other. Yeah, let's come back with this one. Yeah, we'll come back with mine. Okay. Do oh, you want to take mine or what? No, we'll take mine. Okay. Um, man, I got to give myself props for this. This was all me. <laughs> and Hannah. Hannah Banana. And, and Hannah. Deal, yeah, baby! All right. I'm pretty much done now anyway, so... Done as far as what? Uh, the warrants. Are you just looking at jail time or prison time on these? Well, um, I don't know. It depends on how they run the uh, possession charges. Were you trying to get a hold of Misty when, uh, when you were sitting out there? Yeah. Saying you were there or something like that? I know what you that. You have some phone issues, dude. You need to fix your phone. Yeah. You might have set this up a little earlier. Because <laughs> uh, it's turned off. What's that? Is that all last weekend it was turned off? Yeah, that's been for a while. So I now I'm using uh, Wi Fi, one of the free talking text apps. Oh, is that that one that you were just talking to her on? Yeah. That was a new number? Yeah. Which app were you using? Talking Tone. Talking Tone? Does that give you a free number that you can use? Salt Lake County Jail. Here we go.
Identify? Two bell enforcement agents, one 1082 mil. Assistance? Negative. Thank you. And that's as far as we're going to be able to film. Can't go beyond the Golden Gates. This is crazy. All right, we just got back from the Salt Lake County Jail. We just booked in our uh, our uh, fugitive. Um, what kind of warrants did he have? He had probably about sixty-five thousand in warrants. A fifteen thousand for ag assault, disorderly conduct. Unlawful or uh, 20,000 20, uh, unlawful possession of a firearm. Felony two. Felony two. Um, possession the use of controlled substance. Um, another drug paraphernalia. It's a small one. It's got 25,000 uh, uh, false info, uh, evading and. Felony uh, one. That's a felony one, yeah. Yep. A couple misdemeanors. So he won't be going anywhere for a while. He'll probably be going back to prison for a few years. Yeah, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. He knew that. That's why he was making those posts on Facebook that he's not going back to jail and fuck the police and everything else. And he did his best to uh, evade the police for, uh, what was it, six, six months? Yeah. They were almost out of time. They have, I think, a week left before they're completely out of time. Yeah, we just caught him in time. Yep. And it was all thanks to our little Facebook girl. This is the second, the second girl we caught with uh, with her. Second guy. Second guy we caught with her. Yeah. She's a. Uh, she's bona fide. She's a bona fide uh, sweetheart. <laughs> we caught another guy from uh, Colorado with her. Um, he asked. Uh, she asked him for a tattoo because he was a tattoo artist. But he was right there. Yeah. <sighs> so anyway, um, this worked out really well. Nobody got hurt. We. Man, it, it was classic. It couldn't have been any better, and you'll see in the video that uh, the way it panned out wasn't what we were planning, but we were able to adapt and modify. And Never it, goes as planned, but as long as it goes down right, it went down right. Nobody got hurt. Can't ask for anything better than that. So we're on to the next 20 people. <laughs> Hopefully, we got, we're getting cameras now, so we might get some good footage here and actually be able to angles. make some, uh, something cool here. Anyway, we're out.